This video is brought to you by Hit Point Press and their Big Bad Booklet series. And by Steam Forest Games and their upcoming animal adventures, The Far Away Sea, on Kickstarter July 20th. Hello and welcome back to the Gallant Goblin. Okay, I saved this one for last because it's um, rather unsavory, but this is the kind of thing that you're very likely to encounter in a Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder game, so it's probably helpful to have this set handy. This is the Torture Chamber, another accessory pack for your Warlock tiles. I can't really remember a dungeon crawl that didn't include one room full of torture implements to make sure you understand exactly what kind of evil you're there to fight. Now for these, I am not going to go into detail about how these torture implements are used, but you'll have the names of them, so feel free to look them up yourself at your own risk if you need more information. All right, enough stalling. Let's open the setup and take a closer look. Actually, before we do, I just want to let you know about a few things we have available right now. Over on DM's Guild, you can pick up our latest 5e supplement, Fight Your Minis Tomb Tapper, to get a ton of use out of your Tomb Tapper mini here with encounters, lore, NPCs, and more. And check out our two pride shirts on our merch store, the Rainbow Dragon and the Rainbow Kobolds, over at gallantgoblin.com shop. And now, on to the torture chamber. Included in the set are two fire torch lamps on wood stands, a spiked chair, two torture crosses, two stocks, one torture bed, and two piles of chains. None of these items have any moving parts. For the crosses, you may need to expand the legs a bit in order to get them to stand up on their own. The hot water trick may help to get them into a more stable position. Next, we have two cages, a drowning trough, two fire bowls with a clear fire element, a table, and an iron maiden. The cage can be separated from its base so you can place a medium or small sized miniature inside, and the doors to the iron maiden open, though it only holds certain small minis. Usable cages are a super handy thing to have ready to go by your gaming table, and they show up in countless adventures, so those may be the pieces in this set that you get the most use out of. Next, we have two racks, a pendulum, a brazen bull, a surgical tray, and a Catherine wheel. Some of these do have moving bits. The pendulum swings a little bit. The top can be removed from the brazen bull, though you can't really fit a mini inside of it. And the Catherine wheel does spin. And yeah, I'm not really going to get into how these instruments were used, but they have extensive histories on Wikipedia if you're so inclined. Next, we have the DIY hanging cages. The pole and cage come unattached with a separate string that you can thread through the holes on the wooden stand and then attach to the cage. It takes a modicum of fine motor skill to get it all set up, but it looks pretty cool in the end. The bottom of the cage is removable if you have something you want to fit inside, though the opening is too narrow for even a small sized mini. You could fit in a corpse, such as maybe those from the Hallister's lab set. If you pick up the unpainted version of the hanging cage, it does come with a forlorn looking prisoner who does fit inside. Finally, we have the two minis that come in the set, the Torturer and his erstwhile assistant. The assistant is the same figure from the Warlock Tiles Merchant set, but the Torturer is making his first appearance in the Warlock Tiles line. And I don't recall seeing this figure in an unpainted form either, so if you do recognize him, let me know down in the comments section below. This set actually has a lot of content, and much to my chagrin, it actually all stays on theme really well. Pretty much everything here belongs in the torture chamber, so if that's what you're trying to build, this is your one-stop shop. There are so many figures in this set, I couldn't even comfortably fit them into one Dwarven Forge setting, so I had to split it into two. I appreciate the usable touches, but I do wish items like the Hanging Cage and the Iron Maiden were large enough to hold some regular medium-sized minis. But we do have the very usable cages, which are probably going to hit my table quite a lot. Many of the figures in this set can be picked up individually in the WizKids Deep Cuts line as unpainted minis, so if you're just looking for the Iron Maiden or the cages, for instance, check out your local game store. 
Warlock Tiles Torture Chamber is available now for an MSRP of $49.99. Let me know what you think of it in the comments section down below. Many thanks to our sponsors. First, Steamforge Games and their upcoming Kickstarter for Animal Adventures, The Faraway Sea. Definitely a hard break from a torture chamber. This new book expands upon the rules presented in Animal Adventures, The Secret of Gullet Cove, allowing you to play as one of a large variety of awakened cats or dogs. The new book is a standalone campaign setting, so you don't need the first book to enjoy it, but the first book is fantastic, and I hope to show you more about it soon. The Faraway Sea also introduces rules for playing as a cat artificer and a cat watcher. Eh, what's a cat watcher, you might be asking? Well, stay tuned to find out. Be sure to visit the link in the video description down below to sign up to be notified when the campaign starts on July 20th so you don't miss out on the Kickstarter exclusive Baby Kraken Mini. That's Animal Adventures The Faraway Sea. Next, I want to thank our longtime sponsor, Hit Point Press, and their Big Bad Booklet series, a monthly zine about boss monsters for 5th edition. Each booklet is 9 inches by 6 inches and arrives packed up like a comic book. It includes everything you need to know about the boss in question, including their backstory, personality, and tactics. And each booklet is fully illustrated. This month, come meet Ron Reber, a demon who sows violence and chaos to satiate himself. Will you feed into his bloody desires, or can you starve Ron Reber before he grows too powerful? Subscribe today at BigBads.com. And thank you for watching today. Check out Fight Your Minis Tomb Tapper on DMsGuild.com and our Rainbow Pride shirts on GallantGoblin.com slash shop. Visit our Discord to help me decide what to play next on Twitch now that we've finished our playthrough of This War of Mine. You can also find me on Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you enjoyed the video today, clicking the like button helps other people find the video, and you can help keep me on the air by supporting our Patreon at patreon.com slash thegallantgoblin. For now, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I'll see you next time at The Gallant Goblin.